everybody. Today we are going to learn how to draw some really cute owls and we are going to practice drawing lots of different lines on our owls. And so this is my example that I have right here. And you can see I kind of have a, a mommy owl and a baby owl here. You can make more than that if you want, or maybe you just want to make one big one. That's going to be your choice. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do first, I am going to start with a letter U. And so I have to decide how many owls. I think I'll put three on this drawing. So I'm going to make, maybe I'll make a big letter U right there. And then I am just going to make a little curved line here. And to make the owl's head, I'm going to make another curve. And then I'm going to make wings. This owl's wings are folded in. So more curved. So you can see I have a U. And then I have one, two, three, four curved lines. And so I'm going to put some nice big eyes on my owl. If you want yours asleep, maybe we'll make one asleep next to this guy. And how about a triangle beak? Kind of like when we did the fins on our fish. And I'll put some little upside down V's for the ears. I'm going to wait to do my patterns and designs on this owl after I add some other owls in. So I'll put a little one over here maybe. You can see my letter U is a little crooked. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Another curve, and then the curve to make the head, and then we'll make the wings. And this little owl is going to be asleep. So we'll make maybe some closed eyes and a triangle beak. And how about one more over here? And the curve, and the head curve, and the wings. Hmm, this one's going to be winking. I'm going to have one eye closed and one eye open, just for fun. Okay, oops, and I'm going to put these little V's, upside down V's. And now I'm going to put some of the bird's feet. They're going to be holding on to a branch. So these feet I am doing with zigzag lines. And now I'm going to put a branch underneath. We practiced branches on our bird pictures too. And I'm just going to make my branch go right under where my owls are sitting. You can make it curve a little bit. You can make a part of a tree like we did uh, on the bird video if you want. Or you can just make one branch going across the page. I think I'm just going to do that. And so now comes kind of the fun part of thinking about my lines and designs. We're getting creative. Sometimes artists don't make things look real. These owls do not look like real owls because I, real owls don't usually have all these designs. But artists get to be creative and make things look a little different. If you want yours to be a little more realistic, maybe you can think about what kind of lines you could use to create feathers. I'm going to think about some of the lines that we may have seen if we watched the video about the line song. And I'm going to think about my zigzags.
and there were fancy lines and broken lines, all different kinds of lines on the, on that video. I think I'm just gonna, ooh, and they talked about a swirl. That might be kind of fun. I'm gonna put some swirls on this owl. And then I could think about, oops, and look at this. I forgot a beak on this little guy. So I could think about lines that are curved like this, kind of like waves. Sometimes we call those wave lines or scalloped lines is a fancy word for it. And you can decide what other kind of lines you want to add. I'm not sure what I'll do to this little guy. Maybe I could put kind of like this one. You can say I put polka dots on here. I put some little star shapes. I'll put some star shapes on him just so he has something on him. And now... What I'm going to do, one thing you'll notice on here is you're going to see some darker areas with marker and some lighter areas that are colored in. And sometimes I like to trace my lines with colored markers and then color in with crayons or colored pencils. And so if you have markers, you can do that. If you don't, maybe you could trace your lines with a crayon. And I like to use all different colors. So I'm not going to trace my whole drawing right now, but I will trace a little bit. You can see I'm just drawing right on top of my lines really carefully. And then... It's okay if you don't exactly get right on top of them. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to draw with markers and skip the pencil, you can do that. Sometimes I start with pencil. I'm going to stop right there because I want to give you some time to work on your owl drawing. I'm going to ask you to make sure that today maybe you leave your background space white. And then tomorrow we will talk about some different ideas of filling in our background space. If you can bring a leaf to art class tomorrow, that might be something handy to make a nice uh, textured background. If you don't have a leaf, that's okay too. We'll think of lots of different ideas for you. I will see you soon.